three. Hello, this is Alex and Matthew talking about the Stamp Act and the Stamp Act Congress. In 1765, the British fought and won in the French and Indian War, also known as the Seven Years' War. It's called the French and Indian War because the French and Indians fought against the British. It was fought for the colonists. In the war, the British accumulated 140 million pounds in debt because wars are expensive. The Prime Minister of Britain, Lord Grenville, decided that the colonies must pay for the war, so he imposed a stamp act. Each stamp was five cents. These stamps were required on 50 various paper materials such as newspapers, playing cards, legal documents, and pamphlets. The colonists were outraged at this tax. The protesters would cry, no taxation without representation. The colonists were calling this act Grenville's fiscal aggression. The colonists didn't feel they should be paying off Britain's debt. In order to stop this hated, oppressive Stamp Act, the outraged colonists formed the Stamp Act Congress of 1765. The Congress brought together 27 distinguished delegates from nine different colonies in order to protest the hated act. More effective than the Stamp Act Congress at the time, there was widespread adoption through the colonies of non-importation or boycott agreements for British goods. On the day the Stamp Act was to go into effect, angry colonists and members of the Stamp Act Congress forced Stamp Act agents to resign. Without the agents to give out the stamps, the Stamp Act did not work. In 1766, Parliament decided they are fed up with all the Stamp Act resistance. They decided to repeal the Stamp Act to prevent further troubles. The colonists were overjoyed with this fact and cheered in the streets, the end.